Hello YouTube. Today I'm here with another wash review. I'm actually in Little Treasury Jewelers in Gambrills, Maryland. Today I'm going to re be reviewing the Bremont Supermarine in Blue reference S500BL. It is a stainless steel with rubber strap 43 millimeter in width. If you're not familiar with Bremont, this is a British brand, though there is a Swiss ETA movement. We have a unidirectional bezel because this is in fact a dive watch and it has a wonderful three-piece case. Let's take a better look at this watch. Here we see the two-toned two bezel. This bezel uh, is unidirectional, so only you moves in one direction. It's really nice. Put it back. All right. We take a little bit closer look. We see the different features. It has the day and date window at three o'clock. And then a little bit closer, we see the GLO's pattern right in the front, in the middle portion. And this watch is rated up to 500 meters of water resistance. Profile view is my, one of my favorite parts of this watch. Here we have the gas release, but three piece case. We see the different portions here. Right along there, here, on top there. All right, let's take a look at the back. We have a uh, engravement of engraving of the pontoon boat uh, aeronautical uh, look. This plane here, because Bremont, if you're not familiar, is has its roots in aviation. And with aviation and water combined, they designed this watch. Now for me, I cannot wear a rubber strap. Though this is a nice rubber strap. Because I am at a official retailer in the Little Treasury, it is no problem to switch this out with a leather or NATO or stainless steel strap or bracelet. This is a handsome watch and uh, definitely a watch to definitely rival Breitling Omega. This is extremely well crafted. And this is a watch that will last you a lifetime and will never do you wrong definitely uh, take a look at this watch. Come down to Little Treasuries and Gambrels, Maryland, or you can also find them on the web at www.littletreasury.com. This particular watch retails for $5,400. Well, YouTube, I hope you like the review. Let me know what you think.